Hey space enthusiasts, are you ready for a mind-blowing update from the world of space travel? Because SpaceX, you know, the private space exploration company founded by tech mogul Elon Musk, he's actually just done something that completely rocked the industry. In fact, no one has ever done it before. So buckle up because we're about to dive into the incredible story of how SpaceX is revolutionizing space travel with reusable launch vehicles. Have you ever wondered why space travel is so expensive? It's largely due to the fact that we haven't figured out how to recycle rockets. You see, most rockets that have been launched into space are designed as expendable launch vehicles, or ELVs. That means that once their payload has been delivered, these rockets usually crash back to Earth, burn up in the atmosphere, or remain in orbit as space junk. As a result, for each payload that needs to be sent to space, a new ELV must be built and launched, resulting in a high cost of space transportation. This high cost of space travel has limited the number of organizations and individuals who can afford to access space. It has also inherently slowed the progress of space-based technology and infrastructure because the cost of launching payloads into space has been a major impediment to progress. But there is hope on the horizon. Companies like SpaceX have been working on the development of reusable launch vehicles or RLVs. RLVs have the potential to transform the space industry by drastically lowering the cost of space travel. RLVs are designed to be launched and recovered multiple times, eliminating the need to build new rockets for each payload. The concept of the RLV is not new, and it has been studied by various organizations for decades. NASA's Space Shuttle program, which ran from 1981 to 2011, was one of the first real attempts at developing an RLV. The space shuttle fleet was designed to be partially reusable in order to reduce the cost of space travel. But due to the complexity and risk associated with maintaining and operating the space shuttles, the program ultimately increased costs, and the program was closed. Despite the challenges faced by the space shuttle program, the concept of RLV has remained attractive because it has the potential to significantly lower the cost of space travel. SpaceX has been working on a solution to the problem in recent years. The company has been working on RLVs in order to reduce the cost of space travel by recovering and refurbishing used rockets. One of the most difficult aspects of developing RLVs is that the booster stage, the largest and most expensive component of the rocket, has traditionally been discarded after each launch. But SpaceX has been working on ways to recover and reuse the Falcon 9 rocket's booster stage. The company successfully recovered a used booster for the first time in 2015, and it continued to recover and stockpile used rockets over the next several years. Refurbished rockets are recovered after completing their missions and being thoroughly inspected to determine their location. But the tricky part is recovering the rockets. SpaceX rockets currently return to Earth in two ways, vertical landing and parachute descent. The booster separates from the payload and begins a controlled descent back to Earth for vertical landing. The rocket's engines are used to slow its descent and guide it to predefined landing spots, which could be a ground-based landing pad or an ocean-based drone ship. The rocket's legs deploy to help it stabilize as it approaches the landing site, and the engines slow the rocket down to a safe landing speed. For smaller payloads, SpaceX has developed a system that uses parachutes to bring the rocket back to Earth. After disengaging from the payload, the rocket deploys its parachutes, which help to slow its descent and guide it to a predetermined landing site on the ground. As it approaches the landing site, the rocket's legs deploy to help stabilize it, and the parachute system is used to slow the rocket down to a safe landing speed. For the Falcon 9 rocket, this involves using its engines to perform a controlled descent and landing on a landing pad or a drone ship at sea. Once it's recovered, the booster is returned to SpaceX's facility for inspection and maintenance. This includes inspecting for any damage and making necessary repairs. The rocket systems are also extensively tested to ensure that they work properly. After the refurbishing process is complete, the rocket is prepared for its next launch. This includes loading the payload and running a battery of tests to ensure the rocket is actually ready for flight. The refurbished rocket will be ready for its next mission once all the necessary checks are complete. In 2017, SpaceX made history when it launched a communications satellite using a refurbished Falcon 9 booster. 
This was a major milestone for the company because it was the first time that recycling rockets had proven to be financially viable. That Falcon 9 booster was previously flown in April of 2016, but it was ready for its second mission after being recovered and refurbished. On March 30th, 2017, the Falcon 9 rocket launched from Florida's Kennedy Space Center, carrying a communications satellite for Luxembourg-based SESSA into orbit. Shortly after the successful launch, Musk stated that his next goal was to revolutionize space travel by turning the booster around in just 24 hours after a relaunch. And he also believes that the potential for a 100-fold reduction in cost of access to space could open the door for humanity to become a truly space-faring civilization. Since then, SpaceX and Elon Musk have worked tirelessly to improve their reusable rocket technology. And in 2022, they achieved a major milestone with their hat trick launches. This term refers to the successful launch of three rockets within a short period of time. And SpaceX accomplished this feat not once, but twice in 2022. In June, SpaceX launched three Falcon 9 rockets in just 36 hours and 18 minutes, including a Starlink mission, a scientific Earth observation satellite, and a commercial communication satellite. This set a new record for the quickest time for any commercial company to complete three launches of the same rocket and demonstrated the impressive capability and efficiency of SpaceX's reusable rocket technology. Just six months later, in December 2022, SpaceX broke its own record by launching three Falcon 9 rockets in an even shorter period of time, a mere 33 hours and 46 minutes. The first of these missions, launched on December 16th from Vandenberg Space Force Base in California, was the joint U.S.-French surface water and ocean topography mission. The 2.2-ton radar satellite, which was successfully launched into low Earth orbit, will be able to analyze virtually every inch of exposed water on Earth, giving scientists a better understanding of the Earth's water cycle and humanity's impact on these processes. The second launch, just over 11 hours later, carried the first two Boeing-built O3B M-Power satellites for satellite operator SES. The 1.7-ton M-Power satellites were launched from SpaceX's Cape Canaveral Space Force Station, and the Falcon 9 rocket performed exceedingly well, reducing the time and propellant required for the satellites to reach operational orbits. This will most likely result in a faster path to revenue generation and satellites with longer useful lifespans. Finally, less than a day after the second launch, SpaceX launched its third Falcon 9 rocket from NASA's Kennedy Space Center, LC-39A pad, carrying what may be the final full batch of Group 4 Starlink V1.5 satellites. This was the 65th operational Starlink launch for the company, and it was just 14 satellites away from completing the second of two shells of 1,584 satellites. SpaceX has demonstrated its impressive capability and efficiency with the successful launch of three rockets in under a day and a half. The three Falcon 9 boosters used in these launches all successfully landed after completing their orbital missions indicating that they can support additional launches in the future. In fact, the Falcon 9 booster used for the Starlink mission set a new internal record for SpaceX by completing its 15th mission. These achievements are a promising indication of the future of space travel. SpaceX's efforts to help reusable rocket development have the potential to significantly lower the cost of access to space, enabling humanity to explore and expand beyond our planet in a more sustainable and cost-effective manner. The company's hat trick launch is an unprecedented accomplishment that sets a new standard for the space industry. We hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to subscribe, like the video, and watch these ones as well.